How's it going everyone? This is Manny from Lowtech. Today we're going to be looking at how to utilize the Megascript to build and install Dolphin, to build and install RetroPie, and it can also be used to build and install a lot of other things. But today we're going to be specifically focusing on Dolphin and RetroPie. And this is what I use to get the really good results with RetroPie and Dolphin in previous videos that I've done. I've had some people wanting to know how. This is exactly how I did it step by step. This process is extremely easy. It's only a handful of commands. Everything runs on its own. Now the downside is it does take a while, so you may want to just set your switch aside, go do other things, just make sure it's set to not go to sleep by itself or anything like that, and it'll do its thing, but it will take a few hours to do everything that we're going to do here. So first you're going to want to head over to this GitHub page. I'm going to have a link in the description. You're going to want to make sure you already have Ubuntu installed before proceeding with this and you are on the latest version. So it's 3.3.0 or 3.3.1, which is about to be officially released. There's a preview build right now, but you're gonna to wanna to be on at least 3.3.0 before doing this. It will avoid a lot of issues that the previous versions had. If you are, you can right click and copy and paste this entire command from the GitHub to your terminal. You don't wanna have a terminal open. It's gonna ask for your password. You're gonna enter it, press enter, and it's going to run for a little bit, and then you're going to be presented with this screen. You're going to want to press OK. Press OK again. Now you're going to be presented with a menu, and they highly recommend that you, for the first go around, only install option zero. And option zero is essentially your initial setup so it's highly recommended that you just go ahead and do this first before proceeding with anything else. So select that and then press install. You will again be prompted for your password, enter it, press OK, and then the script will start. This process will take a good amount of time, so let it run its course. I'm gonna speed it up. Once it completes, it will prompt you to restart your system. So enter the Y and then press enter it will restart the system. Once the system is rebooted, you're gonna to wanna to go to the same GitHub page, copy and paste the same command, enter it, enter your password. It will run through the same thing, and then you will be given the screen where you can select more things that you would like to install with the Megascript. Once we're back on this screen, we're gonna select option one, two, and 15, and that will install the auto updater, Dolphin, and RetroPie all at the same time. Once you've made these selections, hit the install button and it will begin running the script. You're gonna enter your password, press OK. So at this point, I would set your switch down, go do something else, because this is going to take a couple of hours. Once all of these scripts are done, you will have a fully functional Dolphin build and a fully functional RetroPie build and you didn't have to do anything other than enter these few commands, make a few selections. That's what makes this awesome, and these scripts are optimized to give you the best performance with Dolphin and in RetroPie. So once all the scripts complete, definitely make sure you restart the system. Once it's restarted, open a terminal, type in dolphin-emu, press enter, that should open Dolphin. Once Dolphin is open, I highly suggest that you right click the icon and lock it to the launcher. In this next step, I'm gonna create a dedicated folder for my GameCube ROM. So it's home, Dolphin, then create a folder, call it whatever you want. Um, in this case, I'm gonna call it ROMs. Next, we'll go back into Dolphin. Once in Dolphin, we're gonna hit configure. And from there, we're going to go to Paths. Once you're in Paths, you're going to hit the Add button. You're going to navigate to the Dolphin, then the ROMs folder we created. Now, Dolphin will look to that folder when you put any ISOs in that folder. It will automatically pull them up, and you'll have a nice menu of games that you can choose from. Next, hit Controllers. Then for GameCube, Port 1, hit Configure. Then you're going to go down the line, click each one of the button selections give you three period points. That means it's waiting for input. Once you hit the input, it should populate with the correct position. You wanna go through all of that for your buttons, D-pad, 
control stick, C stick, triggers, do all of that. Then in the top center, you'll have a profile. You can click that, type in whatever you like for the profile to be. I pick Joy-Con, hit save, then hit close, and you'll have mapped out your controller for GameCube. You can do the same thing for Wii. Go through and map that out however you would like. Once that's done, same thing. Save Joy-Con as a profile, hit close, and you'll have that for the Wii. Once all that is done, you can close that out. And now we're going to move on to RetroPie. You should be able to search for RetroPie. I typed in RE. I saw the icon. I dragged it to my launcher. Once I had it in my launcher, I started it up. Once it loads up, you should be presented with this screen. Press and hold any button on either one of your Joy-Cons. Once here, you're going to map out all your controls. So go down the line and map everything out. Once everything's mapped out, you can just press A. It'll be a slight delay, and then you'll be thrown back to the main RetroPie screen. At this point, we can close out RetroPie, and I'm going to show you where to put your ROMs and your BIOS files. Once you exit RetroPie, you're going to want to go to File Browser. In your Home folder, you're going to see a RetroPie folder. Here, you're going to see you have a BIOS folder, and inside this BIOS folder is where you're going to want to put all your BIOS files. So your Dreamcast, anything else that requires BIOS goes in here. If you go back to the RetroPie folder, you see that there's a ROMs folder here. You can go in there, and there's already all the different consoles that you can throw your ROMs into. N64, Dreamcast, PSP, PS1, just to name a few. They're all here. So in each of those folders is where you want to put your ROMs for each console. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for GameCube and the other ROMs folder that we made. And I'm going to put ROMs in the folders that I'm showing you here. And I will meet you back after I'm done with that. First, we're going to look at Dolphin, so you open it up, and you should see whatever games you put into that ROMs folder now appear. You can double-click on it, and it will run the game. So I'm actually not going to do any gameplay with this while screen recording, because the screen recording kills the FPS substantially, no matter which program you use, so we're going to stop it here. After editing your ROMs to RetroPie, reload RetroPie, and you will be presented with options for the different consoles that you added ROMs for. On that note, I'm going to call this video a wrap. I really hope this video was informative and helpful. I know there has been quite a few of them that have been wanting to replicate the performance you've seen in some of my other videos, and this is exactly how I attained it with the Megascript. So shout out to Cobalt and the Linux for Switch Discord for contributing and providing these mega scripts. They are really useful. They make the process a lot easier and they do take more time, but it's really just a quick command and you're done. It does all the rest for you. So again, a big thank you and shout out to Cobalt and the Linux for Switch Discord for helping make these scripts possible. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like and subscribe button for me. I really appreciate it. And again, I want to thank everybody for watching and I hope everybody has a great day.